We read in the Acts of the Apostles about the apostles in the upper room after Christ has ascended to heaven. And they're all huddled together, huddled in fear and trembling. As Christ has left them, they feel alone. And even though he told them that he would never leave them alone, that the Spirit would come to them, they still felt that loneliness and that fear of being exposed to the Jews that they would be maligned and hurt for what they believe and for being a follower of Jesus. And then we're told the doors are blown open by a wind and that the Holy Spirit comes in what looks like tongues of fire and enters into them and emboldens them to go out and to speak the word. Quite often the spirit is described in an image of a dove or tongues of fire as a mighty force within. That fear of the disciples and that trembling is familiar to all of us, especially in the last year when we experience so much upset because of COVID-19. During lockdown, we too at times were huddled in our homes, often in fear and trembling, wondering what was going to happen. God felt so far away. The promise of the Holy Spirit seemed faint. And yet, if only we could, like the disciples, have stayed there, and be open in anticipation for the Holy Spirit, we would have realized, and we can realize now, that the Spirit is there to comfort, to heal, to enliven, to renew. During this time of anticipation, let us pray that the outpouring of the Holy Spirit may be felt right across the world at this time that a time of renewal may be born, that God's love and compassion may be felt, that the Spirit may hover in all our lives, renewing, strengthening, and bringing joy. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, our living hope, we long for your glory and power our hearts long to be overcome by your presence. Like a mighty rushing wind, fill this place. Baptize us with your life. Spirit of truth, teach us all things and bring to remembrance the words of Jesus. Guide us into all truth. Give us power in our weakness to speak the word of God with boldness. Amen. And now the Cathedral Choir will sing that beautiful motet, Listen, Sweet Dove, Unto My Song, which is adopted from the words of the poem by the Temple by George Herbert and composed by Grayston Ives, who was born in 1948. We listen and allow the Spirit to move in our hearts in our world. Amen. Mm -hmm. 